Are you somebody who finds yourself falling into self-pity over and over again and you don't know how to get out of it? Stay tuned because in this depression hacks, I'm gonna teach you my method for getting through self-pity to get you out of that depressive funk. What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. So me, as some of you know, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, so not only did I like to party? My favorite party that I used to go to was a good old fashioned pity party. I used to love just sitting in my room by myself or curling up on my bed in that fetal position, isolating, stuck in my thoughts, thinking about how this person's life is better than mine. Why is my life not better? Why am I single? Why don't I have the job I want? Why don't I? make the money I want, all these things. I would just sit there and fuel my own depression by sitting in this pity party. And if you're watching this and you've ever struggled with depression, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is something I talk with my clients about all the time because I work with a lot of people who struggle with depression. And first, I start talking about the root causes of self-pity. Now, something I will do more videos on is how to rewire your brain to be in more control of your life and your situations. Because once you start realizing how much control you do actually have over your situations, then you start to see how much more you could actually do. Because a lot of self-pity is based on expectations. Expectations that the brain makes up, like my life should be better, I should have a better job, I shouldn't be single, I shouldn't be home alone right now, I should have more friends, all these shoulds, in our brain and I will make a video talking about how we start expanding the areas of control that we do have and we start taking back this control which makes it less likely to fall into that self-pity. So this depression hack, the reason you're here with me today is to talk about my self-pity method. So there is a very good reason why I start every video about how we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. As I've mentioned in other videos, I'm sick and tired of people out there just talking about the problem and never giving the solution for it. So when I started actively working on my mental health and actively rewiring my brain to change my habits, my behaviors, my thoughts, my emotions, as well as overcome a lot of symptoms of mental illness, I had to learn how to stick in the solution. So. I have over a hundred videos on here. Many of them are providing you with solutions. So my self-pity method is that I would time it. I would time it like, I want everybody who's watching this to be perfectly clear on one thing. It's okay to feel. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to feel upset. It's okay to cry. All of these things are, are okay. They're normal human emotions and they're there for a reason. That's what makes life life, you know? like. Once you get through this and start working on some more of these things, you'll start to learn how to love these emotions because they actually make you realize that you're alive. But what I had to do was I had to start timing my self-pity. Now, in the beginning, when I was doing this, it was a long stretch. Um, I would do this for hours and hours on end. But eventually, I narrowed it down to about three hours. So for three hours, do your thing. Go lay down, lay in bed, isolate, eat a tub of ice cream, watch movies, think about how the whole world's against you and sucks, all this stuff. At the end of that time, that's when you flip the switch and you say, now it's time to get in the solution, okay? This is what I started doing. I would give myself a block of three hours, okay? So if it was nine o'clock in the morning, I would give myself into noon. And then I was like, okay, now what's the solution? And there was plenty of solutions, whether it was meditating, whether it was going to hang out with friends, whether it was journaling, anything that I know is going to help get me out of that funk. Because if we don't set a time limit on it, that starts to expand and take up our whole day. It starts to occupy the space in our brain the entire day about how we just feel terrible about ourselves. And I always try to teach this to my clients who struggle with any type of mental illness. When you isolate, you're locked in the same room as the enemy, all right? So we have to go and be proactive and do things. 
I, I will always tell you this. I have never, not once in my entire life, worked with somebody or met anybody who has solved any problem by sitting around, isolating, in self-pity, and stuck in their own thoughts. I have not met anybody who has made that a solution. So you need to recognize that and then go out and start pursuing that solution, whatever it may be. Browse around my channel. I have a ton of videos, depression hacks videos, other videos about rebuilding relationships, how to work through anxiety, stuff about addiction, all sorts of things. So make sure you're checking out my other playlist because I'm here to provide you with a lot of solutions. So if you're somebody who constantly finds yourself stuck in self-pity, start giving yourself a time limit. Give yourself a time limit for a week and every week start decreasing it by about 30 minutes, okay? So start at three hours, decrease it to two and a half hours, two hours, and eventually you'll start seeing that you're retraining your brain to actively pursue that solution a lot sooner than you ever have before. All right, so I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below, as well as suggestions for other videos. If you're struggling with anything regarding anxiety, depression, any of that stuff, make sure you leave a comment. If you're new here, make sure that right below this box, you hit the little round subscribe button because I'm always making videos to help you overcome your symptoms of mental health. And also, like I mentioned before, if you check to the left side of this screen, you'll see that there are extra videos that you can check out too. So thanks again for watching. This is Chris from The Rewired Soul. I'll see you next time.